Mobile Computing, Wikipedia Article Audio Mobile computing is human-computer interaction by which a computer is expected to be transported during normal usage, which allows for transmission of data, voice, and video. Mobile computing involves mobile communication, mobile hardware, and mobile software. Communication issues include ad hoc networks and infrastructure networks as well as communication properties, protocols, data formats, and concrete technologies. Hardware includes mobile devices or device components. Mobile software deals with the characteristics and requirements of mobile applications. Principles of Mobile Computing Devices Limitations In-vehicle computing and fleet computing Security issues involved in mobile Portable computing devices Mobile data communication Footnotes Bibliography Or Some of the most common forms of mobile computing devices are as given below. The existence of these classes is expected to be long-lasting, and complementary in personal usage, none replacing one the other in all features of convenience. Other types of mobile computers have been introduced since the 1990s including the Many commercial and government field forces deploy a rugged portable computer with their fleet of vehicles. This requires the units to be anchored to the vehicle for driver safety, device security, and ergonomics. Rugged computers are rated for severe vibration associated with large service vehicles and off-road driving and the harsh environmental conditions of constant professional use such as in emergency medical services, fire, and public safety. Other Elements Affecting Function in Vehicle Mobile security has become increasingly important in mobile computing. It is of particular concern as it relates to the security of personal information now stored on the smartphone. More and more users and businesses use smartphones as a means of planning and organizing their work and private life. Within companies, these technologies are causing profound changes in the organization of information systems and therefore they have become the source of new risks. Indeed, smartphones collect and compile an increasing amount of sensitive information to which access must be controlled to protect the privacy of the user and the intellectual property of the company. All smartphones are preferred targets of attacks. These attacks exploit weaknesses related to smartphones that can come from means of wireless telecommunication like Wi-Fi networks and GSM. There are also attacks that exploit software vulnerabilities from both the web browser and operating system. Finally, there are forms of malicious software that rely on the weak knowledge of average users. Different security countermeasures are being developed and applied to smartphones, from security in different layers of software to the dissemination of information to end users. There are good practices to be observed at all levels, from design to use, through the development of operating systems, software layers, and downloadable apps. Several categories of portable computing devices can run on batteries but are not usually classified as laptops, portable computers, PDAs, ultramobile PCs, tablets, and smartphones. Boundaries that separate these categories are blurry at times. For example, the OQOUM PC is also a PDA-sized tablet PC, the Apple E-Mate had the clamshell form factor of a laptop, but ran PDA software. The HP Omnibook line of laptops included some devices small more enough to be called ultra-mobile PCs. 
The hardware of the Nokia 770 Internet tablet is essentially the same as that of a PDA such as the Zorus 6000, the only reason it's not called a PDA is that it does not have PIM software. On the other hand, both the 770 and the Zorus can run some desktop Linux software, usually with modifications. Wireless data connections used in mobile computing take three general forms so. Cellular data service uses technologies GSM, CDMA, or GPRS, 3G networks such as WCDMA, Edge, or CDMA2000. And more recently 4G networks such as LTE, LTE Advanced. These networks are usually available within range of commercial cell towers. Wi-Fi connections offer higher performance, may be either on a private business network or accessed through public hotspots, and have a typical range of 100 feet indoors and up to 1,000 feet outdoors. Satellite Internet access covers areas where cellular and Wi-Fi are not available and may be set up anywhere the user has a line of sight to the satellite's location, which for satellites in geostationary orbit means having an unobstructed view of the southern sky. Some enterprise deployments combine networks from multiple cellular networks or use a mix of cellular, Wi-Fi and satellite. When using a mix of networks, a mobile virtual private network not only handles the security concerns, but also performs the multiple network logins automatically and keeps the application connections alive to prevent crashes or data loss during network transitions or coverage loss. Portability Devices slash nodes connected within the mobile computing system should facilitate mobility. These devices may have limited device capabilities and limited power supply, but should have a sufficient processing capability and physical portability to operate in a movable environment, connectivity, this defines the quality of service of the network connectivity. In a mobile computing system, the network availability is expected to be maintained at a high level with the minimal amount of lag slash downtime without being affected by the mobility of the connected nodes. Interactivity The nodes belonging to a mobile computing system are connected with one another to communicate and collaborate through active transactions of data, individuality. A portable device or a mobile node connected to a mobile network often denote an individual a mobile computing system should be able to adopt the technology to cater the individual needs and also to obtain contextual information of each node portable computers compact lightweight units including a full character set keyboard and primarily intended as hosts for software that may be parameterized such as laptops slash desktops smartphones slash tablets, etc. Portable computer, personal digital assistant slash enterprise digital assistant, ultramobile PC, laptop, smartphones and tablets, wearable computer, car pewter. Operating temperature, a vehicle cabin can often experience temperature swings from 30-60 degrees C. Computers typically must be able to withstand these temperatures while operating. Typical fan-based cooling has stated limits of 35-38 degrees C of ambient temperature, and temperatures below freezing require localized heaters to bring components up to operating temperature. Vibration can decrease the life expectancy of computer components, notably rotational storage such as HDDs, Visibility of standard screens becomes an issue in bright sunlight, touch screen users easily interact with the units in the field without removing gloves, high temperature battery settings, lithium ion. Batteries are sensitive to high temperature conditions for charging.
A computer designed for the mobile environment should be designed with a high temperature charging function that limits the charge to 85% or less of capacity. External antenna connections go through the typical metal cabins of vehicles which would block wireless reception, and take advantage of much more capable external communication and navigation equipment. A portable computer is a general-purpose computer that can be easily moved from place to place, but cannot be used while in transit, usually because it requires some setting up and an AC power source. The most famous example is the Osborne One. Portable computers are also called a transportable or a luggable PC. A personal digital assistant is a small, usually pocket sized, computer with limited functionality. It is intended to supplement and to synchronize with a desktop computer, giving access to contacts, address book, notes, email, and other features. A Palm TXPDA, an ultra mobile PC, is a full featured, PDA sized computer running a general purpose operating system, tablets slash phones. A slate tablet is shaped like a paper notebook. Smartphones are the same devices as tablets, however, the only difference with smartphones is that they are much smaller and pocketable. Instead of a physical keyboard, these devices have a touch screen including a combination of a virtual keyboard, but can also link to a physical keyboard via wireless Bluetooth or USB. These devices include features other computer systems would not be able to incorporate, such as built-in cameras, because of their portability, a car pewter is installed in an automobile. It operates as a wireless computer, sound system, GPS, and DVD player. It also contains word processing software and is Bluetooth compatible. A pen top is a computing device the size and shape of a pen. It functions as a writing utensil, MP3 player, language translator, digital storage device, and calculator. An application-specific computer is one that is tailored to a particular application. For example, Ferranti introduced a handheld application-specific mobile computer in the form of a clipboard for conducting opinion polls.